All right, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So hopefully I do not look as tired as I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to show it. Very exhausted at the moment, but it's fine. Regardless, I did want to knock this video out real quick. Uh, not even just trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, force out while I'm exhausted. I know a lot of y'all probably think I need to take a rest, which I do want to do very soon. I appreciate y'all always looking out for me and my health. But another reason why I want to do this Elysian Realm video today is because I want to build a grind Elysian Realm. And it is not way good on my conscience knowing I'm playing through all the Legion Realm without you guys. When I said that, I would try to cover it with you guys. So to break down real quick, uh, I'm going to try and make this as short as possible. Why I'm doing a Legion Realm now, like uh, instead of after chapter 25 or chapter uh, 28, like I originally planned. You know, I, got, I, to I was told that after chapter 17, it's all right. You know, you might not have a lot of context or it's different after certain chapters. But um, there's two reasons. The number one reason being I need crystals. I have been... It's been like six months since I started playing Honkai, if I'm not mistaken, that or like five months, something like that. And uh, aside from what I didn't know what I was doing, and they literally forced me to, when I was a beginner, uh, play Legion Realm, they forced me to, to get multiple things. And then I wasn't even sure if it was story related. I thought it was just like some side thing. So I saw a mate in a Hershire form. I was so confused. A whole bunch of characters I've never seen. But uh, long story short, basically, um, I touched some of that. And ever since then, like that first time, like for about a week, I have not touched Elysian Realm. And it's been hard to complete my battle passes to get the crystals I want max for what, it, um, you know what I'm saying? Even if I put in a little bit of money, like $5 or $10 to uh, get the battle pass upgraded, you know what I'm saying? I can't really, like you can, you know, you have to play religiously every second if you want to do it without getting Elysian Realm. Because that's like the most uh, battle pass points you get, etc. And there's just a bunch of crystals in Elysian Realm, as you guys know. It's probably one of the best. A crystal farming spots if i'm not mistaken for honkai and it is really nice for uh, summons and one thing i learned the hard way is that my luck is terrible i actually learned this a long time ago when it started with genshin but uh yeah it is carrying over to honkai and when i tell you i kid you not i literally had to max out on pity on almost i think i was like a few off for alicia's banner and i literally max out on pity i hit the max pity for uh, the weapon banner, and I got a stigma, a stigmata instead. You know, that's cool, I guess. Not really one of the weapon. But uh, basically, long story short, I am desperate for crystals and I am broke. So uh, it's either this or something. I might do both, but I'm about to do Elysian Realm and just grind this, you know what I'm saying? So that way I can be able to get Alicia's stuff, at least her weapon, and then I want to get May. And the second thing is, um, I already kind of did, like I said um, earlier in the first reason, uh, I already did some of the Legion Realm and it was out of order. I didn't know what was going on. So I did some of chapter three. It said I did like 12.5% because for some reason that was a free trial and I didn't do one or two. And then also chapter one, uh, I did like 35% of that. I, I didn't know what was going on. I saw some of the dialogue, some of that didn't. So basically, uh, long story short, which this was not sure, I apologize. I suck at summarizing things. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just watch this 10 minute recap video. Uh, shout out to Homu Labs. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link to the video in the description. Of course, they have a complete guide to the Legion Realm lore. And shout out Squiddy as well as Elisa, because um, I heard that Elisa um, actually did this video before and it helped her a lot. And Squiddy is the one that let me know. So shout out Squiddy and a few of you guys uh, as well in Twitch chat. Shout out all y'all. Um, Squiddy just told me in Discord. But um, yeah, so long story short, we're about to get straight into this. Hopefully this will give me the recap because it kind of would have been all over the place anyways if I try to do it like actually playing through the game and sharing with you guys because I already have some progress here. No progress there. This is that. It's very all over the place. So um, don't worry though. I am also because I know that you don't get max uh, interactions if that makes sense with the actual characters or seeing like all the like, you know, how deep the not the story, but how deep the characters get and all the things about them. You don't really get. Hold on, let me take this off. All right. Uh, yeah, you don't really get to see that. Um, through this video I heard. So I'm definitely, I think it's like their memorial things, like the little eggs they have that are like custom for all of them. You know what I'm saying? All the flame chasers. I'm gonna just stop now, I sound crazy. But um, I am looking at that. So I'm gonna be checking out my spare time. I'm still paying attention to Legion Realm, but this is just to get the gist of it with you guys, okay? Hope you guys enjoy this though with me. Make sure you sign like button before we get started. And uh, yeah, don't hate me at us, you know what I'm saying? He walks down into a corridor shrouded in darkness. I heard this very, very minor spoiler, so we should be her. fine. It was Elysia, number two of the Flame Chasers. A group of 13 Mantis soldiers from the previous the era that was formed after the tragedy of Binding. Elysia tells May that the Elysian realm is a simulated space created from the converged consciousness of 
of the 13 Flame Chasers, a okay. virtual library left behind by the last heroes of a long gone civilization. To Mobius is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie, she's a freak with it, but As the things I have seen from her from chapter round, one, she encounters familiar faces like Kevin and Hua, and new ones such as the calm and collected Sakura, the hot oh, she hasn't seen Sakura before. Fight Eden and the man who never opens his eyes, Sue. <laughs> but among all of them, the one that attracted May's curiosity the most oh, was yeah. the mysterious green-haired scientist, Mobius. Regarded as a dangerous individual. Oh yeah, actually, um, you know what I'm saying? Let me just, I, I'm going to mention some things I've already seen here and there. Because I, like I said, I was actually playing a little bit last night. I actually finished chapter one. Uh, I didn't get the beginning context because that's when I was trying not to pay attention to the story so I don't get spoiled. So I realized I can't go back. When I first started the game, this is very complicated to explain, I apologize. But uh, yeah, um, Mobius apparently, she got like from an experiment gone wrong. Well, not even gone wrong, she doesn't care. She got uh, shrunk to like looking like a child or whatever, like shorter, which is strange, but whatever. She still looks kind of like an adult, just a short ass adult. But uh, yeah, apparently, you know what I'm saying? She used to be on that, that MILF energy angle line. You know, I was like, hold up. I need to see more of it as I play through it. But. but caution wasn't May's style. I mean, we are talking about the girl that beat her girlfriend half to death in order to save her. May oh, asks Elysia hey, May is savage now. Shouts out the ghost. Shouts out the wife. I'm coming for you, May. I'm summoning you. Testing May to see if she can handle the green okay. scientist. I got here. Two yeah. Of them have a short fight, and after everything is done, Elysia opens up the path ahead for May. Here, May meets Mobius for the first time without realizing that she was already part of an elaborated scheme put in motion by the green haired girl. Why oh, Mobius is such a savage? Okay, so now everything should be new. While after her first Except for maybe like a few Mobius, seconds of chapter some 3. But... Strange anomalies in the realm. Amidst all the confusion, a voice she had never heard before guided May to safety. After returning, she meets Klein, a Nia left from the previous era, and Dr. Mobius' assistant, who is tasked with the maintenance of the Elysian. I've realm. seen this, this is one of the elves in the game. Okay. With Raven, it is revealed that the uh, wifey out wifey action. For the hold on, hold on, I just realized, isn't this kind of like similar to uh, that one scene where May had her blade out and Raven was like pushing up on her, like trying to uh, take her out? I think it was like the end of chapter 16, and now it's like, her, oh, and May's all gassed up. Okay. Oh my god. The successors that choose to undertake the okay, I had to make sure my audio was recording. Learning I'm not sure. Can you hear that one time? Choose to undertake the final bounty. Learning about Raven's past experiences, May grew even more suspicious that Mobius is planning something. As such, the Hersher decides to investigate her past. She learns about her immortality, about how she created Klein after okay, she's immortal too. of her previous assistant, who became one of the tent Hersher's puppets. She finds out about the active Honkai reaction, a form that every mantis has access to that will transform them into a Honkai beast and grant them tremendous power in exchange for their sanity. The truth about how Mobius killed Klein during the attack of the tent Hersher in a frenzied moment when she was not conscious and she also oh, she wasn't learns conscious. That's about fucked her up, mysterious research on the age uh, with all the OG Mobius the baddie. Made the side to confront Mobius directly. She learns about the terrible plot designed by Mobius to lure May here and transfer her consciousness into the Hersher's body to leave the Elysian realm. After a grueling Yo. fight, Mobius is confronted by Klein. The ELF gives her a recording passed down by the real Mobius, from which we learn that she decided to end her life in the final moments of the previous era. As she talks more about wait, wait, Mobius mind, did? Mobius is confronted by Klein. The ELF gives her a recording passed down by the real Mobius, from which we learn that she decided to end her life in the final. Damn, I'm crushing you on the cryo Wait, but As she's she immortal. Like, is she not like what? And I guess she doesn't remember this. It was all her memories except for probably this. So then, when she's a part of the consciousness, is consciences? I, I don't fucking know. In the Elysian realm. 
This Mobius is like, I'm gonna get out of dang you trying to steal my girl maze, but that's crazy. Her state of mind, the same Mobius furiously strikes the recorded image of the real Mobius and reveals that during her last sync with the Elysian realm, she planted a seed of doubt into the mind of the real Mobius to make her give up on her life. Basically, what? It that she gave I think you gonna explain, but my nigga, what? What? So her conscience in the Elysian realm because I thought that was like the memories of all of the Hershers into one state but her conscience and their made her current self and herself I like I get it but I'm just like how does that even work Jesus Christ this is like this is getting dark that and she's immortal how do you even if you're immortal are you allowed to do, like, i guess if, if you know a way maybe she's a scientist like a math mind, scientist so. the same mobius furiously strikes the recorded image of the real mobius and reveals that during her last sync with the elysian realm she planted a seed of doubt into the mind of the real mobius to make her give up on her life basically this means how is someone so evil getting the flame chasers depression to the point where she didn't want to live anymore she did this so she could be the only mobius left after the oh shock hell no nah. mobius deletes the area and leaves leaving may and klein behind as they try their best to find a way out from the collapsing data space klein notices that may attracted to go. the attention of a certain individual Oh shit, that's fire. Okay, chapter three. Oh, this is so well done. Hey, shout out Homo Labs, dude. Void archives to Otto. Worried about her friends, May leaves the Elysian realm. Huh? What? Oh, I'm so sick of his bitch ass. Kevin returned the Void archives to Otto. He did. Friends, May leaves the Elysian realm. While she is gone, Raven enters the realm to investigate some data errors that start to okay, saw this a little bit this. between May and Mobius. An encounter with a peculiar cat leads Raven to a dark Pardo? place she has never seen before. A mysterious figure reveals herself in the dark. That is crazy. Raven Aponia? passes out and the mysterious figure gives a little her bit. a star-shaped pendant. May returns and starts searching for Raven, but to no avail. To help her, Elysia introduces May to part of okay. the 13th member of the Flame Chasers and the owner of Felis's shop. These with scenes look help, so good. May manages to find Raven. After May interacts with the pendant left by the mysterious figure, she collapses and finds herself in the dark place described by Raven before. With a gentle and calm voice, the dark figure mentioned by the mercenary approaches May. The Hersher senses that she is dangerous and realizes that she has the power to control people's actions through her words. Later, May finds out that she was none other than some Aponia, JJK stuff. the third ranked among the flame chasers and the strongest psychic mantis. Embarked on okay, a new third journey next to reach the deep end, May encounters two new flame chasers. The silent boy, Cosma, and the youngest flame chaser, Grisel. Witnessing May's ability to bring change to the realm, Aponia reveals to her that she can see people's fate and that May will die by her hands in 10 days. While trying to escape her fate, May meets the last flame chaser, the eccentric genius. How Yuri. are you gonna escape that fate? She uncovers the secret Fighting of right Antonia's now? discipline, learns about the Sundown Alley incident, where Sakura fought Kalpas for the first time, and the sanatorium in which Aponia helped the infected, while witness. Jesus Christ, is it deep? What the? Okay, okay, this is too much taking. Okay, okay, Actually, they're explaining it very well. Shout out, Homelad. I'm not like super confused. It's just like a lot. I'm like, yo, okay, so we got Chimis, the Central final flame chaser. View. This is a person that came out on 5.9. I saw them. Their gameplay is insane. I uh, can't wait to see that trailer. All I know is that uh, Scotty was running them when we were doing co op and they had fucking machine guns, excuse my language, all over the field. I was like, Jesus Christ, it was crazy. Turning into Call of Duty. Behind the pony as and then Sakura was fighting another flame chaser. I'm going to play, but like. Learns about the Sundown Alley incident where Sakura fought Kalpas for the first time and the sanatorium in which. I hope Sakura won it, guys. Oh my bad. I forgot to turn my alerts, but shout out Shadow with the follow. You know what I'm saying? You could always actually end up in one of my vids. You know what I'm saying? You want to hit that follow button. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I turned that off. My bad. Uh, that's my fault that I did earlier. But shout out Shadow. Go. Welcome to the Soul Squad. You know what I'm saying? On Twitch. Live stream. Same thing was here. Link in the description.
affected okay. while witnessing her past struggles in trying to change fate. To challenge oh this God. belief, May provokes Skalpas to a fight, hoping that the masked man will put her in mortal danger before Aponia's prophecy is supposed to happen. The fight goes exactly how the Hersher of Thunder wanted. Oh, that nigga fire! To be killed by the bearer of the signet of decimation, Aponia appears and saves her. Realizing that her fight with Kalpas didn't achieve much, May slowly comes to terms with the fact that she might not be able to change her fate. But even so, maybe what? her fate is already determined, but she can at least choose what path she'll take to the end. Armed with unwit- Okay, I need y'all's help. Um, this is explained very well, but I'm assuming just because slight details are left out, which makes sense. This is a very good recap. I want it to be shorter. I need, with chapter three, this is a lot taken. I need explanations on like the whole opponent telling her fate. I guess you can see the future, which is beyond broken. I don't know how you lose Loki in the previous era with someone as strong as Kevin, or at least how much y'all be sorry from and Alicia and her, since she's so broken too. And they can read the future, like they can see the future, like what? by 10 days jesus christ and then like I, I don't know there's that and then like kalpas is just able to i guess you know i did see i was looking at i think he's oh i remember now it's called the something of remembrance that arm dumb i think that's what it's called the little egg shaped things uh where we see more about them and uh them interacting with may and more about their personalities and things they've been through etc they did like that i see that he is very 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 broken um i'm surprised he's not in the top strongest flame chasers the way they'd be gassing him up but i guess yeah, like y'all said, all the flame pages can just smoke all the new era people, so I don't know. This is interesting, but I just need more explanation. Like, literally, like, even here, so she saved her and then still can change her fate? What? Right when that she was weird. about to be killed by the bearer of the signet, of course, because the pony wants to save her. I might kill her, her, I guess, for some reason. That her fight with I don't know why. Much, May slowly comes to terms with the fact that she might not be able to change her fate. But even so, maybe her fate is already determined. If I get spoiled and May dies, I mean, that's not saying they spoil them. Take to the end. I'm learning Armed now, thankfully. Unwavering resolve, she wants to find out the truth hidden in the deep end before the prophecy is fulfilled. May attempts to reach the deep end once more, but before arriving to her destination, one last obstacle stands in her way. Apollonia kind of bad though. With the help she of thick. Viseo's painting and dumplings. Raven's intervention, May overpowers the bearer of the signet of discipline, but the whole fight was nothing more than just an illusion created by Apollonia. Bro, what? Okay, I get it. It's like, I get it. But the reason I'm even whining is I have to, like, this is a lot to take in with the help of Raven and, like, her even being able to defeat an illusion after losing to Kalpus if she's stronger than Kalpus is crazy. Then again, I guess not full power, but, like, the deep end once oh, May's so badass. That's a wife. To her I hope that by the end of this story, it's really unlikely, but I hope May's stronger than every single character in here. Or at least her and Kiana on some Sasuke and Naruto shit are the two strong. That'd be pretty good. Shout out Branya too. We need Branya up there. Stands in her way, Aponia. With the help of Griselle's painting and Raven's intervention, May Raven's overpowers such a the bearer of the so Griselle's of painting. But the whole fight was Grise nothing more Griso, than just I think I don't know. Okay. By so that's a goat. She's on her side. Out that she was only testing May to see if she was worthy to discover the secrets buried deep within the Elysian realm. Despite oh, wow. fate giving her an ultimatum, May decided to make the same decision as her and tread on her own path to the inevitable. After that, Aponia she looks finally so good. opens the path to the depths and May finds herself again greeted by Elysia, the bearer of the signet of Ego, who reveals herself to be the 13th Hersher of the previous era. What? No, I get it, but what? How long did this come out? May 20th? Oh, y'all knew by May 20th she was the 13th Hersher? I thought this like was new, new. Okay, big likes. That was amazing. Okay, so and then that's where uh chapter 29 picks up. Oh, that's fine. That didn't spoil too much. Thankfully, that was amazing. This is a godly recap. This gave me all the info I needed. This is like, bro, I already played through all chapter one. Uh, like I said, the first few minutes are blurry because like I was literally skipping through all of it. So I was trying my best not to get spoiled, but to get the, the things I needed because they were for. I don't know. I don't know why Honkai has forced me to do that. But I guess because not everybody usually cares about the story. So I guess I get that. But uh, this was just 
This was phenomenal. Ponyo looking like a god. Oh my god. <laughs> Interact with all the flame chasing in this way. It's fire. I still wonder what's the motive behind why was she trying to kill Mei? Like, she saw her as an intruder or something? I can't remember trying to. And then this is where it leads up to. Look at the wire. Oh my god. She looks like a. Yo, this is so fire. And then I gotta see what's up with that. Alicia, you know, reveals she's the 13th Hersher. I'm surprised back then, even in the previous era. Yeah, it seems like now in the current era. Kevin knows that Hersher should be on their side helping them. Elisa didn't even... Don't spoil me. Please don't spoil me. I'm not caught up on anything that much. Chapter 24. Unless it's in this video said, please do not bring up anything uh, before Chapter 29. I meant after 23 and before wherever we're at now. Just don't spoil me, okay? It's not hard. But, um, yeah, apparently she said she's a 13th Hersher, and I guess they were working with her all this time, which is surprising. Not that all Hershers can be bad. But what we can say is uh, Mobius, I actually saw that in one of her Remembrance things too. She said she was very surprised and more interested in Mei because Mei is able to control her own body as her shirt as well as a lot of current era um, her shirt. Not all of them, but a lot of them can, which is way different from the previous era where all of them were berserking. It'd be kind of cool to figure out why that is or if it's just, you know, things do change over time. That'd be logical explanation too. Don't really got to go too in depth with that. But um, yeah, they had Alicia on their team back when uh hershers really weren't known to control themselves like they just go berserk you have to kill them instantly even sakura's sister which was depressing but okay I, I, wait 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 she's okay never mind i'm dumb i'm dumb for a second i was like wait at least the hersher then but i was like of course she's human ego okay don't cook me why i said that is because he just said 13th hersher right i thought 13th hersher was the hersher man Unless it's Lydia, not. The bearer of the signet of Ego, who reveals herself to be the 13th Hersher of the previous era. I'm so confused now. I mean, I get it. Don't get me wrong. I know she's not Hersher of the end. That's dumb. And literally, if that was the case, according to what everybody said, she, she literally would not be on the flame page. But like, I thought the 13th was the Hersher of the end. That's why I thought I heard. I must have misheard that at some point um, from some information. Regardless though, this was amazing. Shout out Humble Labs. Go throw them a sub, please, and like this video because it helped me a lot. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this too. Um, like I said, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to experience Elysian Realm with y'all through the gameplay. I am going to play. I'm actually going to hop on it after this and once I edit and upload this. Uh, but yeah, I've been grinding Elysian Realm. I really do need the crystals as well as I do want to just uh, hurt. It's extremely long. It's pretty fun by myself, but it'd be hard to like because i it just I, my experience was very sloppy with it to begin with uh, in the beginning because i didn't know what was going on and i was playing through parts of it and the game kind of threw me off like i said i was in between chapters random percentages yeah it, it just that probably wouldn't have worked out like i thought so there's multiple reasons why we did this but hopefully this was uh satisfying enough it was for me you know what i'm saying uh so that's first and foremost i got the story i feel like i needed aside from chapter three if y'all could explain the pony thing a little bit more but um yeah this is amazing hopefully this was a good enough experience for y'all too to experience it with me and then next we'll be going into chapter 24 not tonight or anything like that but uh very soon hopefully within the next couple of days i need to rest up though i want to make sure i'm at full energy because he's getting very long from what i've heard but i'm ready i'm hype i'm ready i heard from chapter 24 onward just it pops off like crazy so uh let's get it i appreciate y'all being here though if you like the video make sure you slide the like button before you leave comment down below what you were thinking of it as well as please help me with this chapter three uh ponya explanation but as always i always catch y'all next one make sure you take it easy go crazy and peace <laughs>